since I just posted something about Putin, I wanted to do a new reading on Putin according to Side Real Astrology because when I did the last one, which you can look under my playlist, Celebs and Government, Gov, uh, you can see my old one, but I want to do a new one with uh, with new Side Real Astrology. So you guys are all going to, some of you may know what his birth date is and you might uh, dispute what I'm putting, what you can see on the astrological chart, but just remember this is not Western astrology. Now the last post that I put was that he was banning and actually fining or jailing anyone that create, makes GMO products, GMO crop in Russia will be considered terrorists. Uh, and he also apparently made a comment about how he's pointing over to the West saying, look how they're killing themselves. Look how they're killing the West with their vaccines and their food and GMO. So it started to make me curious because obviously, I mean, I don't follow a ton of politics. I don't really follow a ton of news. I'm just going to look at the astrological logical chart but it made me think well, this guy seems to be caring and kind and fair and logical and rational and so i look at his chart and it it's all in, in the new side wheel chart and that's all there i don't know what time he was born but i mean his moon is in taurus and it's got all these great aspects to the virgo which makes it a trine and um it means that he doesn't like first of all sun Saturn means he doesn't like control, doesn't like to be, uh, he'll be the one in control, but they don't like to be controlled. Um, Neptune with Mercury means that there is the idea that he could be considered uh, lied or a liar or that he's lying. Nobody will believe him. Nobody wants to hear his voice. Nobody hears him. Uh, this may be on a, obviously on a global level because it's Uranus, which is all the squares. And Uranus has to do more with overseas and global, but it's also sudden unexpected. He's got to be very careful that he doesn't put his foot in his mouth um, as well. That's that's part of it. And it also means that he thinks very different, different and outside the box. And not everybody wants to understand that or get that. Um, but he does have to be careful that he doesn't... Uh, but see, with Mercury, that he's not caught up in lies. But with Mercury and Libra and Venus and Libra, he's all about fairness and the law and legality, and that, and and also with um, with with Taurus and the Moon means he cares about. He does care about food and and um, and gardens and crops and harvesting. That that's all what Taurus and Virgo is all about. Now, with his Mars in Sagittarius, it means he's a very he's a visionary and he's a future thinker. So, tell me what you guys think. So now, with the prediction with Putin, there is Neptune squaring his Mars that started in April and May, and what this is a an element of feeling like that the, or knowing or the understanding that the person is being framed. So there's this understanding, and knowing that he's being framed. Uh, if you guys watch politics, I don't. If you can make comments in there. Apparently he's starting, he's going to just begin for the next year and a half. You're also going to see it in September and October, and you're going to see it in February and March and April of next year. And then that'll be a little bit of the end of the cycle. It might come out again at the end of 2024. So he's going to start calling out countries. He's going to start calling out politicians. He's going to start bringing out the truth. The truth sells out your feet. That's what Sagittarius is all about. With Chiron in there, that usually indicates that's what his job is to do in this lifetime. Uh, I don't I don't know whether it's good, bad, right or wrong. I really don't know if I like the guy. I don't like the guy. Um, I'm on the fence, but I'm also very uneducated and naive about it. I don't know enough about him. But he's usually, according to this, this is a side, new side real astrology one. He's a pretty laid back, reserved, quiet uh, person in general, and he's not going to be now. He's really, he's he's upset, he's mad, he's frustrated over what's happened in the last two years, and uh, I think this news that I just shared with you as well is proof that he's going to come out, and he's going to be loud about it, and he's going to be factual, but the framed part is that obviously they're going to make him look like the bad guy, and there's there'll be again another divide, as we've been doing for the last three years, about whether we believe in uh, whether Russia or Putin is good, bad, right or wrong. What do you think, guys?